In this experiment, the first thing we're going to do here is uh, get a reading on our empty cell. Uh, I'm energizing the plates at 5,000 volts with a 5 second ramp up rate, a 5 second ramp down, and we'll spend 10 seconds while we're energized at 5,000 volts. Currently the reading is showing all use in a geom and we just got to pass. This is what you would see with this piece test equipment when it's greater than 500 gig ohms. So that is our dry reading. Now we're doing 100 volt IR and this was just with distilled water added one liter and we crowbarred the machine and it was saying approximately it was uh, less than it was 100 K ohm was approximately what the reading is. Uh, what I'm hooking up now is at LCR 7600 and I'm going to reconfigure the device and we'll set this up for series resistance and series capacitance and take a reading and see what the water looks like with just the plates. Now the, the plate size here is much larger than what it would be for a conventional res resistivity cell and that's not the purpose of the, this demonstration. This is just, we're just doing it to see what we're going to get. The amount of area that is exposed on the plates is approximately 6 square inches or 38.771 square centimeters. Uh, the plate at the closest point is approximately 4 inches. And as I zoom in on uh, the LCR 7600, you can see the value here of 138.425 kilohm and 46.31692 nanofarads. What we're doing here uh, in this clip, get ready to add 10 grams of sap. This is what in the previous experiment we'll take and gelify within like 40 to 50 seconds. So that's what we're going to do here. And we're going to get a reading, a resistance reading of what the sap is because just the water itself was definitely pretty low, the 138K ohm. And we're going to allow this to gelify and then see what we get. Once the sap gelifies, we'll be able to take and uh, get a resistance reading for what it is. And you got to remember, this is this plate surface area. Of the approximate six inches square and then the distance between the plate does not reflect how it may look inside of a cable assembly except for you know it'll give you an idea that we do have a resistance value that the sap material mixed with distilled water is conductive and here's what we got for our initial reading on the plates um, retest again a couple times to verify where it's at we're approximately 117.5 ohms now.